document your journey for maximum control. Please understand that when you keep a journal for personal effectiveness, you're doing this not because you have nothing else better to do. You're doing this because you want to control the process. Boosting effectiveness is not something done on a whim. It's not something that you do casually. It takes calculated action. It takes a lot of analysis, and you have to be strategic about it. This is why you have to keep a personal effectiveness journal. Here's how you do it. Track your journey. The first thing that you need to do is focus on tracking. This means you need to record who you were before and after you've decided to become more effective. When you look at who you were and your level of performance when you started, you can't help but get motivated. Maybe you are one week from your start date or maybe you're several months. Whatever the case may be, you're going to be in a better position than when you started. Allow yourself to get pumped up and motivated. You should also track your solutions. Every journey is going to involve some pothole or some sort of challenge. Overcoming these, of course, involves solutions. Track them. See if you can get a clear idea of how you came up with the solution and figure out how to improve these solutions. Look at the results that you've been producing and ask yourself, are these the very best results that I can achieve? Am I capable of more? Ask yourself, can I do more? How do I get better quality? As you go through your journey, you should be able to document certain tweaks and modifications to your personal efforts. Learn from these. Isolate these. Isolate your challenges in writing. The worst thing that you can do is to just emotionally accept that you're going through a tough time. That's the worst thing that you can do. Why? You're just going on a feeling. You have to write these challenges down. You have to clearly define and isolate these challenges. Break them up into small parts. When you write them down, you can then start researching solutions to them and start running experiments. This is the most effective way of changing your behavior, so whatever challenges you run into will not derail your progress. They're not going to throw you off track. They're not going to make you emotional. Instead, if you keep repeating this process over and over again, you will never run into a problem that will throw you off. You won't automatically assume that something is impossible. Instead, you know that you have taken care of these challenges in the past because you've attacked them systematically and methodically. You can do the same again and again far into the future. All it took was isolating your challenges in writing. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.